What's up guys, Doll Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another donut operator video. So this one is first ever gun cam police shooting. A Vernon, Texas officer destroys pedophile. Um, so I'm, <coughs> I'm guessing this is uh, from the title. I'm, I'm guessing this is the, the first ever shooting that's been featured on a Hi, everyone. police cam since they started using those. Because I, I think, I guess it depends on where you live, but they're a relatively new thing, right? Um, and part of it was, you know, for basically both the protection of the officer and the, uh, I guess civilians, um, you know, basically to make sure there's no unlawful shooting. So it's kind of interesting that the first one, buddy's just popping a pedophile. So anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Donut here. Sorry. I haven't been posting much content lately. Things have been crazy and I've just haven't really wanted to look at people getting shot the past week. It's been kind of, uh, you know, depressing in itself. <laughs> But now, check this out. History was just made. Well, the incident happened last month, but some of the body camera footage was released recently by the company who makes gun cameras. That's right. The first police shooting ever. Oh, so it's the first on a gun camera. Okay, that, so yeah, that, that explains a lot. I was wondering, like, why? Yeah, so it's not a body cam. It's a gun camera. Ever captured on a gun camera just happened. It's historical, especially for this channel, if more departments buy these gun cameras because it gives an awesome freaking view. There's no arms obstructing, there's nothing. It's just perfect 1080p footage of what the gun is looking at. And it's freaking crazy, man. This company called Ver God damn. Was that him shooting at the car or was somebody else shooting at him? Viridian Weapon Tech came out with this thing, and I'm not sponsored by him. I just think it's a really rad little device. On April 27, 2019, Corporal TJ's session with the Vernon Police Department was looking around for this dirtbag named Walter. This is Walter. Walter had some warrants out for his arrest for continuously touching a nine-year-old from 2013 to 2014. Yep, Walter's just a giant piece of shit, and Corporal TJ Sessions actually found him. Wait, is he in the car? Is he living in the car? How you doing? What's your name? Mark. Walter. Mark. Your name is not Walter. Why? Because that's your name. Corporal Session knew exactly <laughs> who Walter. <laughs> Pro tip: If you're trying to pretend you're not the guy that you actually are, don't ask why. <laughs> Just say no, I'm Mark. I probably shouldn't give, be giving fucking advice to pedos, but like, fuck me. <laughs> How dumb can you be? Walter was right when he walked up to the car. Little did he know, though, Walter had a sawed-off shotgun sitting in the seat right next to him. The whole incident only takes about 15 seconds, so let's go through the body cam footage. But that's illegal in the States, right? Like, you guys aren't allowed sawed-off shotguns? I know they're definitely illegal up here. I know that. But, like, I think in most states, if not all states, that's also illegal. And the gun cam footage at full speed so you can kind of get an idea of what we're going to break down. Okay, step out of the car. Step out of the car. Oh, so we got the body cam footage right there. Okay, so it was him shooting the car, okay. Okay, so there's there's the gun footage. How crazy is that? Basically what had happened was the guy didn't want to get out of the car. Officer Session knew exactly who he was. He tried to pull him out of the car. That's when the guy swung the shotgun around. It happens so quick, you can barely see what happens. Let's slow it down. Now, as soon as Corporal Session sees the gun, he draws his own gun. Let's slow it down. I'm guessing that he had to cut that. Because as soon as he said, let's slow it down. Oh, no, I think he's going to... This is the way it edited. I thought he had to remove it, but I think it's still going to show. Which turns the camera on. That's when we get this crazy view of the dude pointing a shotgun right at him. Oh, fuck yeah, he was quick with that. I didn't even notice that. Sessions backpedals some, tries to create some distance while firing his weapon. Walter fires off the shotgun, though, hitting Session and knocking him over. 
Corporal Session, being the badass he is, was not out of the fight. He continued to shoot, stood up, shot some more, and retreated. He even reloaded. Did it hit his vest, or did, it, did he actually take, like, a bullet wound from that? Put his magazine and continued putting rounds on target. <laughs> According to news website, the Vernon Record, this piece of shit ended up soaking up eight shots from Officer Session. When he swung the shotgun around and shot Officer Session with it, though, he hit him in the shoulder. It was a 20-gauge shot <laughs> a bird shot because he got hit with 41 pellets in his shoulder. According to a report... God damn, that would suck. <laughs> I know he's going to end up fine, but fuck me, that would suck. 36 of those pellets are still in his shoulder. Walter, the piece of shit in this video, ended up making a full recovery, and he's having to serve a minimum of 20 years for the shooting. And this isn't even on top of the charges related to touching the nine-year-old. Hopefully he's going to be... If I understand it properly, too, in the States, you guys, they stack charges, too, right? Because up in Canada, a lot of the times, if you do multiple things, you only get whatever... Say you get, like, you know, they get you on, like... Uh, three counts of robbery and assault, uh, you know, fucking, you get like a bunch of different charges and then you get found guilty of them all. They'll only give you the punishment for whatever the most severe one is, right? So if you end up getting like uh, two years for this, three years for this, five for this, 10 for this, 15 for this, then you'll get 15 years. But if I understand it, the way it works in the States is they'll actually just stack them on top of each other. So instead of being just the 15 years, you would end up getting like 35 or whatever in prison for the rest of his life. How freaking crazy though was that, man? Gun camera footage. Viridian Weapons Tech, that is rad stuff. If you ever wanna to work together, let me know. I am going to be streaming at twitch.tv slash download operator as soon as this video is released, so come hang out. We'll even talk about some police stuff. I'm gonna be focusing heavily on the main channel this week. Yes, this channel. I've got a crime talkie talk coming up this week. I've got some classic police footage videos coming up this week. Yes, I know I said we were gonna play bingo. I'm sorry that that didn't happen this week. I've been having a lot Fucking of fun bingo. doing streams again. Other than that, everybody please have <laughs> <laughs> Bingo and cooking streams. Uh, sounds, <laughs> sounds like you'd be having fun with my grandma. Fantastic day. Great whacker. Man, honestly, I didn't even, like, talk about quick reaction time. I didn't even notice he pulled that shotgun out. When he pulled it out, he, like, just swung it, like, around, and it was just, like, under his hand. Man, that's fucking, man, that was good shooting. He didn't even kill the guy either, which is even more impressive. Now the guy gets to go to jail. So, anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.